<laughs> but anyway, there they are, and uh, I guess they're just, just uh, for decorative purposes. I don't whatever. know. Maybe, maybe you at home enjoy seeing them. That's, right. Uh, anyway, uh, we have a story for you right now that is really going to get you steamed up. It's one of those abuses uh. of power stories. Today, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, you know them for yep. all the charitable yep. work they've done over the years, is expected to file for bankruptcy, all due to the financial strain caused by one little child's wish for unlimited wishes. You've got to be kidding I me. I wish I were kidding you, but I'm not. No, this kid, Chad Carter, he's an eight-year-old uh, living up in Boston. He has leukemia. Uh, he took advantage of some bureaucratic loophole in the charter of this uh, organization and, uh, and wanted nonstop wish fulfillment to the tune of nine trips to Walt Disney World for himself and his family of five, a real live F-14 Tomcat, which had to be decommissioned from Afghanistan, and daily hot dog lunches with Yankee slugger Johnny Damon, as well as untold hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on fire trucks, right. dump trucks, sure. regular trucks, and, and you know, the kid doesn't even drive. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, Unbelievable. Listen to how he responds to all this. I don't want the wishes to ever end. Can you imagine? Is there only himself to think of? And joining us now here is Make-A-Wish Foundation President Dean Fineglass. Dean, our sympathies to you today, buddy. You are really in a bind, aren't you? Yeah, we sure are, but our slogan is a promise is a promise. Because of that, our hands are pretty much tied right now. So, Dean, what have you thought of to do to, to fight this situation? Well, we had gotten a pro bono legal team, and, of course, Chad found out about it, and guess what? He wished away our legal team is very got clever. He's all bases covered. Yeah. yeah. Every day I go in there and it's, it's more outrageous than the day before. Is there anything our viewers can do to help? There is. They can send donations. We're asking just about for anything. I mean, if, if they have 10-speed bicycles, uh, volleyball sets, I mean, connections with celebrities. Right. Uh, the worst case is that we continue to grant Chad day after day his unlimited wishes from now until the day he dies. Well, and we can only hope that that's coming soon. Well, unfortunately, Make-A-Wish is now responsible for the best oncology care for Chad, as that was one of his first wishes. Wow, this kid thinks of everything, doesn't he? Yes. Best of luck to you. We're hoping for you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.